Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I'm glad to welcome you back to the Lobotomy Corporation, where we're at version 1.000. Now, why is that significant? Because of a couple of key things, really. One, this is basically the final build, but the game has not been quite released yet due to issues, and you, we will get a second episode this week on the day closest to the release day. The day, the day closest to after the, it's released. I think that's going to be Saturday. And there's a couple of thi interesting things. First, there's actually an intro screen now, with the icon of Project Moon and everything, which is up there. Which I don't think it was up there before. That little icon up there. But also, there's something very key I've noticed, which is the reason I'm starting the video on this screen rather than the regular screen. Because we now have the storyboard, including what we is seen every time we get to certain percentages of the Seed of Light. But, if you will note, there is also ver something very critical in this, which I see, which... I find exceptionally interesting, which is the three different endings. What does that mean? How is that going to work? How are there three different endings? This is stuff we'll all find in time, and we are going to find out. So, needless to say, this makes me exceptionally happy, because it might mean we have to start the game all over from scratch to get the different endings. But who knows? So, let us get back to our menu screen. So everyone, it's time for that another time in the episodes. It's time for Employee Introductions! So, without further ado, we have five indirectly employees to introduce today. To start off with, we're going to start with the one I forgot. Yeah, I forgot it when I did the last set, and I forgot it last week. So, without further ado, allow me to introduce you to Cosmic. <laughs> I do apologize for getting, for forgetting your introduction originally, Cosmic. I think it was because I had like 10 characters to introduce, if not 15, or something ridiculous. I am really sorry. So, next. So, we have someone who has been wanting their character for a long time, like most of you at this point, but the list is so long. Forgive me, there's only so many spaces. So, here we go. I introduce you to... Olive! <laughs> now, I understand why you wanted... Long green hair. Because Olive kind of looks like an olive. In a way. If you look really carefully. Huh. What else can I say? In time for employee number three. Now employee number three is someone who I have grown a... I have seen the attachment to over the last couple of day, uh, days. Well, I say couple of days. But it's probably a bit longer than that after, after when you see this. But you know, you get what I mean because of the her uh, interactions with the channel so far. So without further ado, allow me to introduce you to Flutterfly, Flutter, Philly Shy Pie. <laughs> you didn't tell me what hairstyle you wanted, so I figured you'd want ponytails because the pun, because of your icon, and Philly Shy, and. Stuff like that. I work with what I get, I get given. And I don't do it very well. In time for employee number three, we have someone who has basically been badgering me for their character. But it's perfectly fine, you've been showing interaction with the channel. No, just to prove to you, no, I didn't forget you. We have Kazuki. Or however the hell I pronounce that name. Now, yeah, blue hair, style 22, I think. No, that's the next person. Style blue hair with a stern face and short hair. So, there you are, Kasuki. Actually, I don't think you've even requested blue hair. You just said stern face and short hair. So, yeah, I'd say you look pretty stern right there. So, 
employee number five, the one who actually requested blue hair in style 25, in style 22, but with no other reactions to their face. So I decided to make you look quite cheerful. So allow me to introduce you to Sky. Personally, I love how your eyes look. They look like twinkling stars in the sky. As I say, I work with what I'm given, and I don't work with it very well. So, if you will now further ado, give me adieu, it is time for me to sort out the, the welfare team and the disciplinary team, because they kind of need their roles, and people in them. So, give me a moment. Okay everyone, I have it sorted out. So, how have I sorted out? Basically, one of the primary, to start with, one of the primary methods I used was, if you're melee, you should be in the welfare team. Because that increases your defences. It kind of makes sense. Second, if you're in the, you're, if you're ranged, you should be in the disciplinary team. Because it increases your attack, and you're pretty much all near, or a lot of the time, safe at ranged. The only exception to this currently is attack because she heals as she does damage, so you want her attacking really quick- him attacking really quickly. Understand the, the theory? So, who are the particular people we have in charge? Well, we put Alexandra and Primark in the separate disciplinary team, because he really did want to be in it. So, I will give you your credit, Alexandra. You are one of the major parts of this facility, you and your clones. Second, i put Elisa in the welfare team because I realised how powerful her stats were and figured, wow, she kind of should be in a team like that. She has, after all, she has two EX stats. Second, we've got NG in there because he's got four EX stats. What else can I say? Next, we've got Alpha in there because... Alpha. He's a badass. We all know Alpha's a badass. So, there's not much more I can really do today. It's time for me to just progress, see what's interesting, and we'll probably progress until we unlock the, ne the new area. Although we'll probably be doing a mission, because once I unlock those two, we're gonna get a mission here. And after realizing last week, things did go a little short. So, we're gonna do our best to make, to see what I can do. So let's begin! Chili, you could use a bit of... Pudron, a bit of temperance upgrade. Well, I guess that's why we have Big Bird. Okay, Elisa. Sure. Sure. I knew you're a. I knew you're a little bit. I knew you were a little bit badass, but the fact I tell you to do the job that the queen hates most of all and not get bashed by it—that's pretty impressive, actually. Well done. All right. So what's melting down? Uh, censored and golem. We don't give two dams about the golem. So. Uh, which of you should work on this thing today? It's normally Narbong, I believe. Then I'm gonna have go have you go work on censored, because of the fact I think you'll do very well at it. In addition, we've got most people just training and doing their things today. We've got Alpha training. Come on, not Al not him. We got where is he? Alpha training with the blue star today because of the fact he has got like no well Alpha's weakness is regression. It always has been. It's his lowest stat. So we're having him work with the blue star today so we can try and get it up. At the same time, Chili is working on temperance with the big bird. We've got Alexandrum working temperance with Latina and Cody doing it with the child. There's a lot of good things doing today. Well, we're about to get a dawn, so... Oh yeah, 
That was another key thing with the update. They Are you done? They nerfed every dawn. Like, actually nerfed it. So, I'm personally expecting no deaths. In fact, I expect clerks to kill it for me. That's right, everyone. Keep screaming. No one cares. Attack. They're right next to you. Kill. Narbong, they're right next to you. Kill. Narbong just one-shots the entire wave instantly. Narbong, they're back. Go, go deal with it. Oh yeah, I've got Big Bird in the game. I should probably try and deal with these things. Alright, what's melting down? This thing, sure, okay. Uh, Than, wasn't it? I got work on this thing? To work on this thing? Yeah, it was. So, Than, over you go. Uh, you're going to escape either way, so we're just gonna put attack there. Attack and Narbonk. Yeah, nothing's trying to escape that I care about. Well, crap. Cody, kill that. I don't want Alpha attacking. Because Alpha's got reduced chance of success if he attacks. I think I gotta look more at the weapon, because I think that weapon may be longer may be short range rather than long range. And if that's the case, I need to change which department Cody's in. Oh yeah, Queen of Hatred, I forgot all about you and your 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 desire for death. Huh. That's a complication. It's quite a major complication. Yeah, we can't make the points in time. Um, Queenie. We're gonna have th uh, you're we're gonna have your boyfriend work on you, if that's okay. Oh, oh, Cody, uh, you told me about the captain thing. Is that what the star is? Because if so, I'm perfectly happy. Than being the ca the bloody captain, he's got the healing. He's the one with the healing ability. Huh? How interesting. I don't think your theory on it being about duration is correct, Th Cody, because Rogan here is the captain, yet he's been here for nine days, whereas Birdsaver's been there for twelve and is not. So, I don't know who is made the captain by anything. So, either way, Than, go say hi to your girlfriend and pray. You know how to treat your woman, Than. <laughs> You know precisely how to treat her. Good job, man. Good job. Alright, it's a noon. It's the red noon. Meaning, attack, you can go kill it. Especially as it looks like no one else can- it doesn't- no, it doesn't even matter for anything else. It's just walking along cheerfully like the little thing that it is. Once this ordeal's finished, we're done for the day. Come on, people! I expect lots of good little things. <laughs> that didn't take long. Like, I heard a gunshot and I thought it d uh, Isaac had killed someone. So, let's just check, and everyone is alive and fine. Good, good. Job done. Well done, everyone. Let us move on for the day. Right. Let's see what kind of creature we get today, shall we? All that remained was the hollow pride of a weathered knight. The smiling faces are eerie and full of sorrow. I hate you, game. I really hate you. You know precisely, precisely 
that I need an Aleph level creature. And you also know precisely that this is the most requested abnormality in my in in this damn game. <sighs> Aleph requests. Aleph requests. Aleph requests. God damn it, I'll go with the requests. I remember you, eh? You were a person with a warm heart. Ooh, this music. Hey, what? Why did you never go meet it when, even though you created it? But a, hey, surely you already know. Did you want a vending machine that dispenses soda at the at the press of a button? Then at least give it a name. There is nothing I can do, even if you make an exception like that. It is the rule that the creator that the creator names their creation. Don't dump your job on someone else. You're the designer. Go to it and call it yourself. There, the door over there. Huh. Okay. Okay. You are gonna make everyone so happy, aren't you? I bet you are. So, there's not really much I can say, other than I know exactly who that is, given the description. So, let's move on with her. Let's learn all about her. Narbong, don't worry. You can work with your waifu. Hello, madam. It's nice to finally meet you. Everyone's told me so much about you. And all I can say is that someone has been work w wanting to work with you forever. So, meet your new friend. Let's learn all about you then. You do white damage, that's good to know. Mm, you, didn't s you don't seem the most keen on insight. In fact, you don't seem to like it at all. Narbon, where do you think you're going? You need to stay. Right, uh, let's try attachment then. She really likes attachment. Okay. Th well then, Narbon, we know what you're working with her. Y how you're working with her now. 30... 73 sometimes sheds helpless tears, not saying, not saying anything to 73. 73 lives in the past, just like her sisters. Yeah, because you're one of the magical girls. Your other sister's like in the opposite end of the corridor. Narbong works with her, in the same department as her. What the hell is it? Uh, did you just get? Hmm. Something that stops you working on her. Okay. We can work with that. We can work with that. Elisa. You can go work on her now. No. Engie. You need a waifu too. Go make Narbong jealous. Magical girl sometimes sheds helpless tears, but not saying anything to magical girl. Magical girl lives in the past, just like her sisters. Well, I was right, you're certainly a magical girl. Let's learn your real name now. Oh! That is your real name. I thought you were the Knight of Despair. Does your name change later on? Well, you got a high result, NG, and yet she didn't do the thing to you, so I'm assuming it's the first person only. Four managerial tips, that means we need 28, 24 points, okay. Hey look, 28, 6 points. That'll do. The first employee who completes work with good result will receive Magical Girl's Blessing. From then on, the, ma the employee will be named 0013073-1. 1. 0013073-1 could only do suppression work. Also, thanks to the blessing, the blessing, red, white, and black damage dealt to to them was cut in half. However, pale damage was doubled. Huh. Good thing we don't know anything that does pale damage yet. Yet. 
Magical Girl's blessing dissipated when Magical Girl Dash One died or became panicked. After the blessing disappeared, a new employee was able to receive the blessing. Oh, I needed 32 points, not the amount I said I did. Whoops, my mistake. So Narbon can do no more work today. Interesting. What's your last managerial tip? When Dash One became panicked, the Knight of Despair escaped from the containment unit, with the, sa the same result, result occurred when they died. Okay. So now I need to work on getting... So giving Narbong the first job was a bad mistake, because now he can't get her... her, her ego gift. Well then. We'll still get you her armor, at least, Narbong, just like you wanted. You're weak to red damage when you escape. Okay. That's bearable. That's not so bad. You don't have a Quip Quoth counter either, which is amazing. You never see a WoW without a Quip Quoth counter. Ever. So, thank you for that game. So, what does she need? We need 130 with her. Wow, that armor is amazing. I can see why you wanted it, Narbonk. Mostly because it reduces pale damage. Technically, your current armor is better, Narbong, but as you're a ranged character, I suppose it doesn't matter. All right, and before I forget, bang, bang, bang. No, and uh, you're going to escape anyway. So we're just going to leave. Th so we're just going to leave Bold Bear to do it himself. In fact, Bold Bear, why not? You can work it. You can't work it. What am I talking about? You, that's specifically what the buff you get that is all about. You can't do work on it. I want a Lisa to work with the Knight of Despair at the moment, considering Narbon can't. Because Elisa needs an ego gift. Alright, so next day it's part two now, so bang, bang, and finally bang! <sighs> I'll admit I completely forgot all about this bit. So where are they all? You guys go kill that. You all go kill that. Uh, that one's already being killed. You're off to kill that one. You're currently killing that one. So... Let's time it. That was a sum total of six seconds. Well done, game. I know the old, I know the dawn is literally meant to be garbage at this point of our levels, but still. Oh yeah, and while I remember, bang, bang, and bang. And now we got all of her armor, uh, all of her equipment. So the knight is kind of being used now. To put it one way. And so what are we working on? Snow Queen, fine. Alexandrum, get on it. Next, you don't matter. Next, you're a prick. Next, you two don't matter. Okay, so the prick. What are we doing about you? What can I do about you? Eh, why not? Well, Bird Saver, you gave it your best try, at the very least. Alright. Alright, Aluna realizes she gave it her best try, so she's not going to escape and be, a, and be nasty about it. I'm fine with this. Alright, so next. Um, who's the lucky ones? Delta, eh? 
You're an alpha, so you get to live. One, two, three. <sighs> right. Something tells me Big Bird's about to escape. Because of the fact we have a noon of indigo next. So just in case, I'm moving you guys up there down here. That's our fortification for the top round. Round until the disciplinary team and the welfare team can make, can basically save themselves from it. Right. Okay. So, Isaac's all by himself because we all know how much of a pay pain the the magic bullet. So, when the night falls, the black watch comes, or something like that. So, where are they all? Right. Suppression team, in you go. Wait, there's only three, four groups of them. Okay. I thought, is, shouldn't there be one group for each department? Um. I'm. No, you guys are moving. Just because there's five of them coming towards you. And you guys, move in there to help. What's that? That's Cody. Can Cody fight these? I don't think Cody can fight them. Move away, Cody. If I've learned anything, it's that hordes work. So, if we get a Cody, and we get a Than down there, you both are the suppression team after all. I should be having you suppress things. I will admit, also, I was expecting more things with the... In with the... with it. Oh yeah, giving Than the captain position is the best. Cody, I know you said you wouldn't be disappointed, but I really hope you're not disappointed given how who has it is the one who is your healer. When the sun rises up, there will be no there will be no remains anymore. Huh. Okay. Everyone's alive? Everyone's alive. Return to your departments, one and all. Everything is fine. And there we go. Day complete. Excellent. NG, you appear to have maxed out your, your temperance. Good job. Chile, I expected you to max it out that out, but oh well. Alexandrum, you appear to have maxed out your pudrance. Cody, you've maxed out your justice. Than, again, I expected you to max that out. Oh well. I guess. What are you? Eventually they will lose all pudrance and forget e and even forget how to exist. Well, you're not the fucking train, which everyone keeps telling me about, so good on us. Don't be so tense. Just close your eyes. Yes, just like that. Make yourself as comfortable as possible, so that your mind is comfortable too. It tickles, no? But just wait. And now, fade away. Feeling water and air during different seasons in a different dream and a different body, forgetting and remembering everything. You've already become something. I don't know what it is, but I have already left some time ago. Don't look for me. I will teach you no longer. That's Malkov. But A, hey, I want to be part of the Cognito experiment. I am ready. Okay. The grains all over the floor shine with light. Kill me. Please kill me, A. Hey, sorry. I'm sorry. As you commanded, I made the job applicant form for our corporation. The recep reception is good. Everyone thinks it's a new employment method that does not concentrate only on one's abilities. 
the number of applicants are projected to meet the initial calculation. The experiments are almost complete. We will soon hire people according to the priority value you've stated. I've also arranged a meeting with Time Track. Are you are you thinking about the, all those people who left? What is Time Track? If you don't mind my asking. Ah, the day is complete. The night of despair is here and ready, and your name did actually change like I thought it would. Well, let's sort out the equipment. First, where are you? Narbong. We will do as you've requested. You may have her armor. Next, due to the agreement, Cody, you now get... You don't get the sound of the star. Yet. You don't have enough temperance. Oh well. Who wanted this weapon, by the way? It doesn't seem to say there's anything special with it, but we all know it never does. Like the Solemn Vow. It doesn't tell us it does black damage too. And yes, Cody, you are a melee character. So, really, you should go into the defensive department. Sorry if that disappoints you. I bet it is... Melee need the defense more than the attack. Unless you attack where you got lifesteal. It's kind of, she's kind of an exception. So, another day. Let's now finish the welfare team. And see what kind of... Thing we get down here. I can't wait to see. So what the hell are you? I must ask. Ask. Sometimes my own accent confuses me. So yeah, what the hell are you and why should I give two dams about you? Is my question. Attack, get the veil. I see no other, no one better to get it. There we go, attack. You are now protected. Protected long enough for us to work on her a little with Cody for the day. Wherever, there he is. And then, with that, Cody will max out his temperance, get some extra work with, be able to use the, the, the blue star's armor, and then from that, Yeah, other things. Bang, bang, and bang. I will not purposely kill alphas. We have learned alphas are the alpha breed. They tend to kill everything and be awesome. Two bastarding things I don't care about. Fine. All right, beginning of the set, beginning of this. So you're a theta. That means you go bang. You're an alpha. You get to live. You're a theta. Bang, and you are an eater. Bang. Bye bye. Not much to do during these parts, honestly. Not much to say. Not much to do. Magical girl. I feel like asking you to entertain me. But I know you were. I know that's a bad idea. There's a bunch over there. There's a bunch in here. Alright. Uh. Attack, go deal. Narbon, go deal. Than, go deal. Elisa, go deal. I miss you being in purple. You look so nice in the Teth gear. But I guess we got. But I guess you have to upgrade eventually. Create endlessly to live. Inevitable depletion. Garbage. Okay. Those words pop up so quickly, you never know what half of them are. So that's where you are, attack. I wondered where you were. Is it? You guys go up there, just so... Okay, you don't go up there. Is it? You all stay right there. Fan, go kill it. <laughs> you guys are fine. Uh, you guys are probably not fine.
fuck, someone died. Great, I've got to re-try. Because someone pointed that out to me. So yeah, there's no penalty for the retry button. That's good to know. The temptation just to let the day end and put everyone in and to and by putting everyone in we can change everything. The temptation is there. Also, I don't care if you are alphas. Bang, bang, and a bang. Three dead people. Be a happy little magical girl. I'm sorry, what? You worked on it the giraffe once, bird saver. Why do you have its ego gift? Ah! I forgot to execute people. Right. And with the second time someone has died, I'm afraid I'm going to call it an episode because I'm running out of time. So everyone, I'd like to apologize for not getting to the fifth day of the welfare team like I said I would, but sometimes these things happen. Like you forget to kill people so a, so a girl has a temper tantrum, or you forget some weaker people are in there with the big giant with machines with the, with the chainsaws. So, what can you do? So everyone, sorry about that, and remember, there will be... Probably a second episode of Lobotomy this week on the day of release, be that tomorrow or Saturday. So, when you. So, everyone, I'd like to thank you all for watching. The Lobotomy episode is brilliant, as it always is, and you've all finally seen your d Night of Despair. Hooray! It cost me my quest. Be grateful. So, everyone, I'd like to thank you all for watching. But, I'm afraid, until the next time, it's time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.